Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would bring you guys along while I make my waffle recipe. These waffles are gluten free and have a ton of fiber in them. I've had so many people ask me what is in my waffles, so I thought I would do a video on how I make them. If you guys want to try them out, just keep watching. I'm going to start with a bowl. And the base for these waffles are going to be flaxseed and almond flour. Starting with our flax, I get this stuff from Costco and I'm going to be using one and a half cups. Next up, I'm going to be adding almond flour. Again, I just buy this stuff from Costco and I'm just going to be using half a cup of almond flour. The next step in our dry ingredients is baking powder and I'm going to add one tablespoon. Then I have cinnamon, Ooh, there we go also from Costco, and I'm going to add half a tablespoon of that. Then I'm just going to stir my dry ingredients. It is usually quite the process because with the almond flour it is often a little bit chunky so you're trying to break it down. Now that I have it all mixed up I'm going to put it aside and work on my wet ingredients. Grabbing another bowl, I'm going to start off with half a cup of water. So here's my half a cup of water, just pour it in. Then I'm going to do a quarter cup plus a tablespoon of coconut oil, and I also got this from Costco. Surprise, surprise, I don't. The crappy thing with coconut oil is that like in winter when it's really cold, it's like really hard. So what I like to do is take a spoon and run it over with hot water. I was gonna say cold, no, hot water. And then I will heat up the coconut oil so that it's melted. Now I'm going to heat it up and hopefully I estimated it properly. <laughs> One thing I totally forgot to add was to preheat your oven at 425 degrees Celsius. That is if you're baking them. You can also use a waffle maker or whatever you guys prefer. Huh, perfect. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and then I'm going to add five eggs. So now I'm going to use an electric mixer to stir it up for about 20 seconds. And you want to make sure that your wet ingredients start to look a bit fluffy. So we want to see bubbles on the top. Now that that's done, I am going to mix my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients. Okay, so now that it's all stirred together, no, I did not use a whisk because the less dishes I get dirty, the better. I know, I'm crazy. I'm going to let this sit for about three to five minutes, and then I will put it in my waffle mold. This is the waffle mold that I am using. I got it from Epicure. I actually have two of them because usually I make a double batch and that will last me about a week. So now that I have let it thicken out a bit, 
I am going to start putting them into my waffle mold. Okay, so it doesn't look super pretty, but this is what it looks like. And then I am going to pop it in the oven for 12 minutes. I just want to say I'm sorry for this terrible lighting. So please just ignore that and keep that in mind. They're almost ready. It smells so good, you guys. All right, that is what it looks like. I usually give it a couple minutes to cool down, that way it doesn't break in the mold. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I will show you guys a close-up look in a second. So this is what it looks like, yum. Top it off with some maple syrup, almond butter, berries, whatever you guys like, and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you guys are going to give this recipe a shot because trust me, you will not regret it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys.